Riley, we spoke to Ligue 1 specialist Firaz El Echi and asked him if he thinks that this Nice team can do the unthinkable and win the league for the very first time since 1959. It's a bit early to talk about that. I mean, they're showing a great performance. They're playing really well. They won against the big contenders. They won against Monaco, like you said. Also Marseille and Lyon. And uh, last game, PSG came with its one of its best performances, and yet they couldn't win against this this squad of Nice. They're playing really well, but bear in mind, they're just one point ahead of Monaco, who has one of the great uh, offenses in Europe right now. I mean, Monaco scored more than 50 goals in 17 uh, a game. So it's, it's a bit early to talk about it, but they're admirable for what they're presenting so far. Lucien Favre is, is a coach who believes in young talent. He's he's building a squad, and and you look at their uh, age average, and it's and it's 21. It's one of the youngest squads in in Europe right now. It's all about finding the right dynamic, finding the right tactics, and there's a psychological element that he's putting to the game, which is a high belief in his players. He's got that Jurgen Klopp effect, and it's paying. I mean, you look at the players, and they're doing their best at every game. It's like they believe in something. focused on the Europa League, they, they know they, they can't go that far, they're being uh, realistic about it, but also it's it's a chance for them to experience new talents, to experience the European uh, uh, tournament, and, and that's what it's all about. If you look at their last game, um, uh, Laurent chose eight new players who never played in the A team before in this game, and he's always betting on new talent, he's always bringing teams from uh, the youngsters, from the youngster squad, from the B team to just give them the chance and to discover what's new and, you know, it's, it's paying. So it's not about winning the Europa League and it was never about big titles. For him, it's just like I said earlier, building the right squad for future seasons. I, I have no idea, nobody does. I mean, he, look, I mean, Mario Balotelli played with major coaches. I mean, Jose Mourinho, come on. I mean, Brandon Rogers, uh, Mancini, and he, he had a fist fight with Mancini. I mean, this guy is uncontrollable. So what? what is it that, uh, I mean, uh, uh, Lucien is doing? We have no idea, but it's paying. I mean, zero red cards since the beginning of the season. He, he played seven games in the league, uh, other games in other, competitions the only red card he got was unfair and the league t took it away so zero red cards for Mario Balotelli that, that never happened before he's very disciplined he applies the tactics he's focused and and it's amazing you know I, I'd like to ask I mean Lucien the same question what did you do man It's bringing something really beautiful to the city. I mean, you all remember what happened in East last year. Uh, they so need this, and it's it's beautiful. It's inspiring everybody. It's uniting everybody. I mean, there's a lot of troubles and a lot of issues about identity and all that after the events of the summer. But right now, this team is putting everyone in the same line, all coming together for the sake of, of this team. And it's an amazing uh, story. It shows us again what football can do. And it's just so beautiful. And and yeah, they're they're believing leaving and the crowds are coming more and more. I mean, they, they wouldn't, they didn't expect this in the beginning of the season. So it's, it's, it's quite beautiful to watch what the crowds are, are, are making of, of their team's performance. I get a load of this. Teams from all over India 